India Sorka Pura Ekta Dangor Aru Historic Move Te Nagaland, Assam, Manipur Te Aspa Under Disturbed Area To Kotom Kuribole Festa Luise. Itu Koborto Union Home Minister Amit Shah Pura Tailaga Twitter Handle De Janaise. Mon District Te 14 Mosam Civilians, Masum Civilians Kange, Tiruan Para Military Forces Aru Galti Natagigena, Morai De Apichide, Pura Nagaland Northeast Aru Alex States Te Aspa 1989 To Hadabole Mang Kuriato. Barai Janaise. Aspa Pura Sipai 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 Shange Dam. Damgor Takat Dishe Aru Sabut Natagilebi Shak Kuria Opor Manulaga Jivan Luishe. India Sorkar Pra Ekta Dangor Aru Historic Move Te Nagaland Assam Manipur Te Auspa Under Disturbed Area To Komti Kuribole Festla Luishe. Itu Kobordo Union Minister Amit Shah Pra Tailaga Twitter Handle De Janaishe. Mon District 14 Masum Civilians Kanke, Tiruan Para Special Forces Para Iku Galti Natagigena Moraitia Pichete, Pura Nagaland Northeast Daru Alak States De Auspa 1989 To Hatabole Mang Kuriato Barai Janaishe. Auspa Para Sipai Shanke Damgor Takat Diaze Shakti Natagilibi Shak Natagilibi Galti Natagigena Manu Morad Manu Jivan Law Opore. Achatu itu opor itu kobor opor aru kota kuribile mohan fono jabo mohan la senior producer logo de itu aru itu opor de jankari pabo nimite. Hello. Uh, yes, yes, Johanna, yes. Uh, as Please you have just broke the news, this. you know, in a, in, a, in, a, in a, you can say, in a very important decision that has been taken by the Narendra Modi government. And just an hour ago, Union Home Minister Amit Shah has broke this news, you know, that. The controversial APSPA is, which is, you know, in the headlines for all the wrong reasons for the past few months, specifically when the incident of Oting took place, you know, a massive outrage was witnessed in the entire Nagaland along with other states of Northeast, you know, the APSPA, which has been always a controversial act. Now, finally, the government has taken a decision that it is going to reduce the disturbed areas in three particular Northeastern states, that is Assam, Nagaland and Manipur. The government has taken this step. Once again, as we have already mentioned, that the government has decided to reduce disturbed areas under the Armed Forces Special Power Act or APSPA in the states of Nagaland, Assam, and Manipur. You know, as the pressure was mounting on the central government to, to, to repeal the controversial act, as you know, often and again, the Indian Army, the Indian security forces has been, you know, there's allegations that they are they're uh, using uh, powers, you know, uh, more to the favor of them, and they're doing some activities or carrying out some operations which are unlawful into the eyes of law, or you know, and that has uh, drawn flags from different parts of society, as uh, civic bodies and you know, social organizations. Everybody, you know, as we have already witnessed in the month of December, the incident that took place on December 4th in Oting, and on the following day on December 5th, these two days incidents in a witness you know, of uh, that took life of 14 civilians in Oting. And after that, you know, huge outrage was witnessed in the entire state of Nagaland. Civics uh, uh, organizations, student bodies, you know, different mass organizations, they came to the streets, they took to the streets, they demanded that the AFSPA should be repealed. And spe specifically, uh, the, two, uh, uh, the two sections of the particular act, AFSPA, is always you know, under, under scanner for over time. You know, as you already know that uh, Irom Sharmila, over a you know, decade, she has, you know, uh, uh, went against the APSPA and or fasting her movement continued for many decades, you know, and specifically Manipur and Assam also has witnessed wrath of Indian security forces over the controversial act. And the Section 4 of the APSPA, you know, which accords the special power to the armed forces and authorizing the personnel to open fire, arrest people without any warrant, you know, enter and search without warrant. And... And that particular act gives the immunity from prosecution. That means Indian Army or the security forces are not under any kind of prosecution, according to the Section 4 of the APSPA, and which gives them special power, you know, to arrest and open fire. Any warrant is not required. Any search warrant is not required. So that controversial act, a particular section of the act, is always under a scanner. That has drawn a lot of flag. And the section that is under scrutiny is the section number six, you know, which grants immunity to the security personnel from prosecution, suit, or other legal proceedings, you know. And those two sections have given a kind of cushion to the Indian security forces, to the Indian armed forces, and to carry out any operation that they want, you know, and which 
has seen as an anti-social or anti-humanitarian law or act, you know, and that is the reason that entire uh, region, the Northeast region is always, you know, asking or demanding the repealment of APSPA. Meanwhile, as you know, the uh, uh, apart from Nagaland, the Assam government and the, especially uh, the Meghalaya government, you know, Konrad Sangmalet, the NPP government also has oftentimes, they have come and they have demanded that the controversial act should be repealed from their respective states. That means altogether all the Northeastern states are, you know, are demanding. And one thing I would like to also mention is this particular act is always you know, extended with a period of six months. You know, it's, it's renewed, you know, and the month of December, the act was uh, uh, extended in Nagaland. When in terms of Assam, it was extended in the month of February for six months, you know. And uh, after that, after every six months, it's got renewed, and citing a reason that the areas are uh, are disturbed and the situation is not, you know, you know, you know, you know, better. But however, today the interesting tweet that has Amit Shah has, you know, tweeted that his tweet says that you know, uh, uh, the reduction of areas in APSPA is a result of improved security situation and fast track development due to the consistent efforts of several agreements to end insurgency and bring lasting peace to the northeast so what he's trying to say that according to the uh, government now the situation in northeastern states specifically these three states where the disturbed areas have been reduced that is of nagaland assam and manipur the situation is better now it is not a disturbed area anymore so that's why the government has taken you can say it's, it's a historic decision as of now to reduce the disturbed areas under the armed forces special power act however it is not the final lane in the coffin you can say the final victory or the final result here that is anticipated tweet, is when here in the, the tweet controversial says, act here in the tweet it says reduced it, it has not mentioned that it has fully revoked so what kind of steps do you think is the government of india going to take when it says reduced yes johanna that is what i'm uh, talking now that although it is a just sigh of relief that the disturbed areas have been reduced it is not yet decided that the controversial act will be repealed or revoked from the entire region however uh, this is the first step that you can see you know the, to 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 pacify the people of northeast i think it's a it's a tactical decision that has been taken by the narendra modi government that they are going to reduce the disturbed areas and then it will be monitored whether the situation is actually improved or not but however as they have witnessed the government has witnessed a lot of public outrage against the controversial act the controversial act that has been you know, creating all the controversies for many decades now in northeast you know? so now this is the very first step that can be seen that the reduced areas uh, uh, the, area, uh, the areas are reduced and now it will it, it is it is to be seen that what will be the next step you know and meanwhile it's already we have learned from our sources that the, in the coming days the nagaland government is led by chief minister rio in fact assam government led by himanto bisho sharma and uh, as far as uh, my sources are telling me meghalaya chief minister konrad sangma are expected to meet the union home minister again specifically to discuss the apspa issue the repealment of apspa so it is to be seen whether during that meeting the deliberations will take place or not and what will be the next step for the government whether they are going to repeal or revoke the entire act or it will just remain as of now whether they've only reduced the some areas under the disturbed area according to the act that will be seen but as of now the latest development that we are exclusively bringing to our viewers we are informing our viewers is that in particular areas of uh, I, I beg your pardon in the three states of northeast nagaland assam and manipur the government of india has decided to reduce the disturbed areas under the controversial armed forces special power act johanna that is the latest of that we have with us now Thank you so much. Thank you. We will move on to the next news. It is Nagaland can do the aru aru ekta good news. I share that is government has decided to reduce the AFSPA. Okay. It is our next news. We move on, Kuribo.